Here we go, match two. Opening round here in the wild card tournament. We're gonna crown a new number one contender tonight here at a Midsummer's Nightmare 2. Of course, it's the wild card tournament named after Danger Boy Derek Wild, who is joining us at the commentary table here. Danger Boy, what do you think of th these two men right here in the ring, Jackson Jarvis and Primo Scordino? Uh, well, I know nothing about Jackson Jarvis, really. He came around just as I was uh, leaving, so I can't really say I'm educated to the fact of, of what this guy can do. But uh, Primo, uh, he's actually one of my students, so guess who I'm going to favor in this one? Well, if it comes down to the experience factor, Primo definitely has the advantage here. I will say one thing. I like both of these gentlemen's haircuts. Ah, I see you, you and my other broadcast partner, Classic Chris, have gone the same one. Yeah. I like it. I may have it one day, whether I want it or not. I, I think you're getting it right now, pal. Now, Chris, you're, you're not shy to voice your affection here for the professional. What is it that uh, does it for you with this guy? I don't know. I saw him back when he was first coming out, out of the dojo. You know, he tried to suck up to the fans and everything. But after our last show, Art of War 2, I saw this new look in him. This, 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 he, he's more sharp. He's, he's just got that killer, killer instinct now. You know what? I'm with you on that. I watched him at, at Art of War, and his aggression was, was way up from what I've seen before. I think it's a new Jackson Jarvis. And I think that that's why he's in this tournament. And I think he might do quite well for himself here. Again, for a rookie, right? He's out of the Neo Dojo, having his first few matches here at Neo Wrestling Federation. But everyone's got to start somewhere, right? Primo showing him how it's done, ringing the arm. See, before with Jackson. With Jackson, he used to care about what the fans think. Now he's just looking out for himself. And I think that's going to be the advantage here for him. He's definitely all business, brings that briefcase to the ring, has his working gloves on. I often wondered what he keeps in that briefcase. I would assume all his workout supplements. The man's in tremendous condition. Oh, but he just tumbled up and over to the floor and managed to land on his feet. Quite, a, quite nimble of him to do so. Oh, Primo with a huge back body, had him scouted there. Primo showing the power there. That Your six back abs can't save you from that. As Jarvis lands hard on the ground, Primo looking great here in first round action. Jarvis <laughs> already just taking a breather. Just taking a breather. Smart move, smart move. Well, today's going to be a test for him. I'm sure Primo is. Uh, has competed more than once in a night, but it's something new for, for a rookie to, to understand this tournament format that you may put everything into getting a win, but you still got to win two more matches if you want to hang in it. That just shows you how important the Neo Wrestling Federation Championship is. Yeah, these guys are willing to go through three different matches just to get, just to get a chance at the belts. This doesn't guarantee a title, a title victory. This is just for a match against Tyson Dukes, the champion. Of course, Tyson's in action later on, not with his belt on the line. It's more of a grudge match against stickball Tony Carboni, who he, uh, well, he didn't injure him, but he definitely prolonged his injury. Yes, he did delay stickball's return. Well, stickball made an effort to come out to every Neo Wrestling Federation show after his injury, uh, supporting his partner, Primo Scordino, the man in the ring. But Tyson we talk about the match that's going on right now. Well, the other Italiano, Primo Scordino, in a rough spot right now in the corner, getting worked over by Jackson Jarvis. Clubbing blow to the back. We wonder if Primo will be in the corner of stickball later on tonight. I guess we'll see how he, how he does here in first round action. He's in a bad spot here at Chinlock. Great move, it cuts off the airflow to the brain, cuts off the circulation, great move for a tournament. Oh, Jarvis is making a mistake here. He's being distracted by the fans here in the Neo Dome, and it's cost him because Primo just dumped him on his back. Now Primo going for a cover. Jarvis gets the shoulder up before three. 
That was a mistake by Jarvis. You can't let the fans get into your head. You just can't. Yeah. What power by Primo. And Primo, he's been he's been champion before. He's been the Wrestling Federation champion. He's had a taste of that gold. He knows what it's all about. I had a bad night. <laughs> How can we forget that? Yeah, I, I haven't. It was definitely a dark day. But Primo, ever since he's gotten a taste of it, he's been going after it. Sure, him and Stickball are a team still, but he's been going after the belt. He wants the title. Once you become champion, oh. that's all you want. Both men knocked each other over there. Big double clothesline. Referee Brian Renda exercising his 10 count. If he reaches 10, this is going to be a double disqualification. And a bypass will take place. Someone will go right to the finals. Oh, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Both men to their feet. All Primo blocks a big right and feeds back with a right of his own. And again, Primo, the quicker of the two here, just lighten up Jarvis. Sending him from one corner. Uh-oh, reversal. Oh, but Primo not having any of it. Jarvis is in a bad spot here. It's over. Primo calling for the end. But Jarvis slips out. Oh, went for a swinging neck breaker. Primo slipped out. And a fisherman suplex. Could this be it? Got him. And it is. Here is your winner, Primo Scordino. Semifinals. There goes my pick. Good thing I didn't put any money on it. <laughs>